Hello, news is coming out uh, that um, Rishi Sunak's wife uh, is a non-domiciled... Um, well, she has non-domiciled status for tax purposes. And uh, she's lived in this country since she married Mr Sunak in 2009. Her father um, founded the uh, IT uh, company Infosys, which... Um, has got huge links, or has had huge links, with Russia. And only within the last week has this been addressed. So here we've got um, a man who is second in command in the British government, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, whose wife is dodging tax, whose wife's family uh, has not followed the advice of the government to cut links with Russian trade until the very last moment. Uh, I just find it staggering that here is a Chancellor who is um, putting up taxes, who is taxing particularly the poor, um, and, uh, and demonstrating absolutely that if you've got the right connections, you can avoid British tax. Uh, you can avoid doing the right thing. You can avoid cutting your links immediately uh, with Russian companies, uh, you can make sure that everything is um, is hunky dory. Now, at the moment, at the moment, we need to be um, we need to be standing together with a nation that is under enormous pressure. We need to be prepared to take the necessary economic risks. I don't think Mr. Sunak and his family are doing so. Uh, they're busy building their swimming pool, and. Um, you know, lording it over everybody else. I find this is a this is an appalling uh, demonstration of privilege, and uh, I am I'm shocked actually. I'm almost speechless. Yeah, I am speechless. <laughs>